Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Front Street Fights 18. As you get a look of what was, uh, looked like a pretty full house tonight, Scotty Jorgensen, Broken Shire versus Cruz for the Front Street Fights featherweight title, and uh, it did not disappoint. We could talk about that in a minute, but you know what we need to do right now? Let's take a quick look at how the fights went down tonight. Let's take a quick recap, if we will. We'll start with the amateurs. Five amateur fights on the night, and there it is. Nacho Navarro on top, doing some damage as he beats Nathaniel Mejia, who came all the way out from Mississippi to get beat by Nacho in uh, round number one via TKO. That was our first fight of the night. Good for him. Our second fight of the night, one that I was looking forward to seeing here, Jarrett Finau from Seattle comes down and did a number on local Jesse Starkey. TKO due to strikes here, the big fella. These were the heavyweights. These were my guys. As you can see right here, the hand raised for Jer uh, Jarrett Finau from Seattle as he improved his record to 4 0. And now we take a look at Tyler or Tristan Hutchinson and Kyle Aslami. And this was a fight we talked a ton about how impressive young Tristan Hutchinson was with the constant pressure on Kyle Aslami. And he ends up getting the win via majority decision. Kind of one of those ones that could have gone either way tonight, but it does go the way of Tristan Hutchinson in his uh, MMA debut tonight. Then we move on to Briley Streeter and Tim Cameron. This was kind of a bit of a weird one here. Look at the fellas, blonde hair, same size, same kind of build. They ended up tied up all night. And you're gonna look here at the finish. It ended kind of odd as it ended uh, with the strikes here. Kind of a tap, as you can see from our, oh, this is actually where he was out. We were talking about him being out. He was out. There's your winner right there, Briley Streeter. And he was done, had him tapped out. We called it strikes, but I think he was out before the strikes were counted. There's your winner there, Briley Streeter. Then we move on to Refugio Garcia and Brandon Mendoza. This was another fun fight. These guys got after it right off the giddy. You can see him here getting after it, going to town in tight, throwing a bunch of punches, and there it was, the uppercut that finished him in round one at 117. That big uppercut from Brandon Mendoza, that was the win. That closed out the amateur portion of our card tonight as he picked up his uh, win and his debut. Now we move to the, to the pros. What ended up being the fight of the night right here, Scott. Big one here between Edminster and Cody Sattler. A lot of back and forth action. Those elbows right there, we were talking about. That's why I would have done it for him, Scotty. Yeah, he landed some solid elbows and once that blood starts flowing, people want to. Majority decision right there from Cody Sattler. He definitely finished strong. That was our first pro bout of the night. Then we move to our second bout of the night. 43 year old Brian Weaver, local guy, steps in takes this fight on late notice and it looks like he ended up with some elbow or ligament damage in his elbow or his wrist. We see our referee Tom Sutton stepping in there and something was wrong. You can see him kind of shake his head right here. He's done, he's telling him I'm done. Referee stepped in, broke it up. Referee stoppage, round two, 4.59 for your winner. Jacob Howe who came down from Billings, Montana. Then we move to our co-main event of the night. Emilio the Jet Trevino gets a first round knockout and it wasn't in your traditional style, Scotty Jorgensen. He got him with some body punches, it looks like. Yeah. Right there. Those hurt. I've had one and I don't ever want one anymore. <laughs> Carl Diekman came in with a great record up from Vernal, Utah at 11 and 3. And uh, the Jet, big body shots there, big head shots, but you know what? Unable to answer the second round. You can tell the pain, you can see the pain on Diekman's face. TKO, referee stoppage, not referee stoppage, unable to answer the bell. Then we move to the big battle of the night, the championship uh, title fight here. Andrew Cruz, Drew, Bro Drew Brokenshire, two very savvy ring vets, Scott. Yeah, they've both been around, both had some really big fights, and they've uh, you know, put the work in, and it showed tonight. You know, they both got after it. Both guys' condition was great, but in the end, you know, Cruz, Cruz dominated. There it is right there. The title moves from Brokenshire to Andrew Cruz. A fun-filled night here tonight. We're going to talk in a little bit after we wrap up with our matchmaker. You can go right there, Facebook.com, Front Street Fights, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Get it all. Get all the information you're looking for. Find out about our next couple of fights. But tonight, uh, we're going to talk to matchmaker Todd Carlson right now. But again, you want to find out more about tonight. You want to find out more about what's upcoming. Check out that social media. And we're now joined by our matchmaker, Todd Carlson. And Todd, I don't know what they call him in the fight world. I don't know if they're called ducks or duds or whatever. But you know what? I, I don't. Those were all good fights tonight in their own yeah. way. Yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a really exciting night. I'm really proud of the fighters. You know, we, we're lucky here. We got some local fighters and some regional fighters that come here, and they put it all on the line every single fight. You never have a boring fight here, and so I'm just proud of them. Utah and Montana always send down a, a guy that can show up and go and, and answer the bell. Obviously, a place for you to go find fights. 
Uh, talk to us a little bit. Well, you know, great story real quick. Got a chance to talk to Vita Ortega tonight. Yep. Everybody loves Vita. Excited for her and her Bellator chance. Uh, she got her start here with the uh, Front Street Fights. With that being said, we also talked about how polished my takeaway was on the amateurs tonight. I thought a lot of the amateurs showed a lot of polish, a lot of moxie. Uh, that shows the depth, does it not, of, of what the fight, fight scene is here in the area? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got some great MMA gyms here in town and in, in regionally, some great coaching. Um, so, yeah, they're really preparing these fighters. Exciting stuff with some of these young guys coming up. Like you, you mentioned, Tristan. Uh, Hutchinson. Yeah, holy yeah, boy, cow. Where'd that kid come from? Pressure personified, wasn't right. he? Right. So yeah. there's some young guns coming up, and uh, it, it, sports got a bright future here at Front Street. Okay. What's the future look like for Front Street Fights, Todd? We took a little bit of a break. Now we're back on it. Great crowd here tonight. Great results. I think everybody was uh, entertained. What's next? Yeah, so I'm already started on the next card. Um, you know, I was really impressed with uh, Emilio Trevino tonight. We've been talking with him. We do not have a 205 title holder yet. So I'm going to I'm gonna start working on that. So That's something you can find and create one. one and then find a fight for him. Is he Absolutely. at that point? So this was kind of maybe a, a show me tonight? For sure. You know, Carl Diekman, super tough veteran uh, out of Utah. And uh, he's the type of guy that Emilio's got to beat in order to get those type of shots. So, and he did. He dominated him tonight. And uh, so, body yeah. shots. Yeah, <laughs> shots everywhere. I every think every quiver, every quiver. And you yeah. know, he's a he's a guy that likes to kick and likes to spin and a bit of a whirling dervish. And he got uh, right. deep and down on the ground and landed yep. two to the gut and then landed a couple to the face once he kind of loosened him up a bit. Right. And it was all over. So I agree. It would be interesting to see what happens with Emilio Trevino. Again, tremendous job by you and the Thank matchmaking you. tonight. I think the production went off without a hitch. Uh, tell me real quick before I let you go, if there's one fighter you want to see on this next, we talked about Trevino. Is there somebody else that you'd like to bring in for Front Street Fights 19? Anything you can, anything you can tease? Sure, you know, and I don't have it. I don't have it done yet. But if you remember Sarah Howell, yep, from Washington, um, fights at 135 pounds, knocked out Ashley Dean last time she was here. She's been on your radar for a while, has she? She not? has. Yeah. I'm, I'm constantly on her, so I'm trying to talk her into coming back, um, possibly in the next card. Well, another tremendous job here in the matchmaking. Another tremendous event put on here by the Central Link Arena crew. Uh, we had a lot of fun here tonight. The crowd was tremendous. They were entertained. Uh, we want to make sure we thank everybody before we shut it down here tonight. Of course, Central Link Arena, all the folks from Front Street Fights, uh, their production, the Cable One team, Cable One Channel 72, always on top of everything. We hope everybody enjoyed it on our YouTube live channel here tonight. And uh, we look forward to it. Again, follow the social media. Check it out. We'll have an announcement for Front Street Fights 19. Obviously, this man has got some, uh, he's got some people in mind he wants to yep. put up there in the cage, and we'll look forward to seeing it then. So on behalf of everybody here at the arena, everybody part of the production, our Cable One team, YouTube, our production team here inside Central Link Arena, what a fun night I had tonight, my first chance to call some uh, uh, MMA, and it was a treat. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and we'll catch you next time at our next Front Street Fight 19. Stay tuned. Keep an eye on social media.